today I thought I would show you my perfume collection, which I have recently uh, limited, narrowed it down, because I may be moving again, I don't know, um, yeah, who knows, uh, but these are the perfumes that are most important to me, so they're ones I've, I've kept, um, the first one is Angel by Cherry Mugler. Mugler? Mugler? It has a French name, so I'm not sure how you would say it. It comes in this really beautiful star shaped bottle. So the front is a star like this. You push this to spray it. This is a perfume that I wear a lot in the summer um, because I tend to like darker scents, heavier scents, deeper scents. Um, holding it upside down just so you're not confused. But um, yeah, so I can't really wear those in the summer. This one I can. It's still a uh, gourmand, which means it's a an umbrella term or like a category for perfume. That means that it's sweet and sort of uh, powdery, maybe. It's not the lightest scent either, but I haven't been able to find a citrus perfume that I like. I'd really like one with ginger in it, if you know of anything. Um, and I don't like florals, so I've been wearing this in the summer. The bottom looks like this. Can read it. It just says Angel Eau de Parfum. Parfum. Uh, it's all in French on the bottom, and this is a hundred milliliters or 3.4 fluid ounces. So. I really like it. it. Yeah, it smells like um, a little, a little bit like chocolate and slightly powdery with some vanilla in it, maybe. But it's not too sweet. And it, um, it, what do you call it? It goes on the wrist really nicely and as it airs out, it, it becomes even nicer. So, I really like this one. The next one I have, I also have a lot of memories tied to it. Is um, called Lo Ombre by Prada. So it is in this little uh, rectangular black bottle. This it says Prada here. Um, you might recognize some of these from my perfume place. Uh, a lot of those perfumes I borrowed from friends just so I could have a greater selection and do more than one video, but these are the ones that I actually own and wear. So this has like an ombre from light to dark there, and a gold top. I wonder what happened to the top. I put this on today, actually. I'll have to look for that. This bottle is a little busted. I have another bottle that's not busted. Maybe it's stuck in the cap. There we go. Nope. Yes. There we go. Um, I have another bottle that's not busted, but it's still in the box. The cap got stuck here. I'm really going to 
gonna smell like this. <laughs> and so I don't know what happened to this bottle. It may have been my my fault, uh, but I don't remember it happening. Where I don't know this this guy is sort of um, loose the top part. You can see it's not really sitting on it even after I, it's not sitting firmly on it, even after I push down on it, and um, uh, there's like a dent here too in the label on the top zipper. I'm not sure why, but the perfume is one of my favorites. It's not cheap either, so it's not like I'm going to get rid of it just because the bottle is being silly. I wonder why this is sitting like that, though. Maybe you screwed it. Um, hmm. Oh, alright. Oh, we'll see. So this one I wear in winter, which is why I'm wearing it today. And I specifically wear it a lot at uh, my parents over the holidays, so it reminds me a lot of the holidays and just winter in general and uh, snow and things like that. So, it's a good one. Yeah, it's leaking on me. I need to fix the bottle. Just put that in the, the carpet. The carpet's dark. Okay, so then we have this one, which is Dior Addict by Dior. It looks like this, and I love it. I have worn this one less. You can see the bottle is this really pretty blue. This part is blue as well, uh, but it's plastic. You push this to spray it. And yeah, the bottle is this gorgeous blue color. So I wear I wear this one also in the winter, sometimes the fall. And I was wearing it uh, when I was traveling for work recently, so it kind of reminds me of that too. Uh, of which I have fond memories. It wasn't like a work trip where I was, you know, on the road in a hotel. Um, it was more edifying than that, so I have good memories associated with this and really like it. It goes on really, really strong, so actually if I was going to put on a perfume right before I went out, I, I would not put on this one because or I would like, normally I spray it on my wrist, I put it on this wrist, and then I put it sort of in my hair because um, I don't want it on my neck because it's alcohol based and I don't want to, you know, dry out or age the skin here because it's so delicate. Same with your wrist skin, but it is not so close to your face, so I don't mind. Um, so actually with this I would spray it into the air and then walk through it. Yeah. And I think this makes such a nice sound. Okay. So three more. The next two are both from Tokyo Milk, which is a green a green perfume company, so it's, I don't know if they're alcohol based or not, I just know, I should be more informed, I just know they're better for you, um, they're made with fewer chemicals and natural, uh, natural scents, so they're from two different lines, this is dark and this is light, and the light has three different scents, I think, the dark has, I don't know, maybe or eight, something like that. This one uh, is called Novocaine. It's by Margot Elena, the name of the woman who put 
puts them together. And it smells, it has um, chili pepper in it and crushed ginger, Thai pepper, frankincense, and vanilla orchid. So it goes on really sweet, like almost sickly sweet to be honest, but um, because it's natural it aerates more quickly and uh, after that burns away, which doesn't take very long, I really love it. There's still a little bit of sweetness left from the top notes, but then as you heard there's all these spicy um, notes underneath in the middle in the bass notes and I love ginger. So. I don't really wear this um, to anything in particular or in a certain season. Sometimes if I'm going out at night I'll wear this one. It's more of a night scent. I wouldn't really wear it during the day. And then this one, um, this one's another one I wear in summer besides Angel. So it's called Transformation and there's this cool snake on it. I like a good snake. Um, I just think snakes are so beautiful. And it has mandarin, tuberose, amber and earth, and white clay in it. So it's very light. And it changes pretty radically as it dries out. Um, that's what it's called, the dry off. I think so. How a scent changes from when you first put it on to the end of the day as the, the top notes burn out and the base notes come out. So, yeah, I like that one too. I'll wear it in the summer sometimes when I want a break from Angel. And then finally, you saw my update video, you've already seen this, but it was very, very kindly, I could never do this myself, uh, gifted this, and I don't know why I'm saying gifted as a verb, because I normally don't like that, but someone gave this to me, it's Tom Ford Black Orchid, that's what it looks like this, and it's just this really this gold string on the top. It's a really dark and moody scent that still feels feminine somehow. I don't know how, but I love it so much. So I have this very tiny bottle of it that I adore and have not worn yet, but will probably wear soon on a special So those are the perfumes that I actually own and wear. Uh, if you know of a good summer scent that you think I would like with ginger in it, uh, especially, then let me know because I'm I'm kind.